Since the first successful intestinal transplantation performed in 1989, there have been nearly 2,800 such procedures performed in the United States. The paper in the current issue of Radiographics comes from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and the Cleveland Clinic Foundation, which have an extensive experience with intestinal transplantation and its associated imaging findings. The paper begins with an overview of intestinal transplantation, including key annotated diagrams that delineate the anatomical features of isolated intestinal, liver and intestinal, and multivisceral transplantation. An understanding of the complicated arterial supply and venous drainage for each type of transplantation is extremely important for interpreting postoperative studies performed on these patients. The preoperative imaging of transplant candidates, particularly fluoroscopic studies, ultrasound, and CT, are important for proper patient selection and preoperative planning. Evaluation of the vasculature using angiography and CT angiography in both arterial and venous phases is important for detecting vascular anomalies that might preclude transplantation or alter the surgical approach and to assess patency of the portosystemic system and inferior vena cava. The remainder of the paper addresses the assessment of postoperative complications such as infection, postoperative collections, enteric complications such as short-term bowel dysmotility, vascular complications including arterial thrombosis, and complications relating directly to the graft. While the imaging diagnosis of graft rejection remains difficult, one interesting association described in patients with acute cellular rejection is hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy. Pancreatical biliary complications include bile leak, ampullary stenosis, biliary stasis with stone formation, and acute pancreatitis. Neoplastic conditions, particularly post-transplant lymphoproliferative disorder, or PTLD, is seen in up to 33% of patients and occurs in the early years following intestinal and multivisceral transplantation. Doctors Gavin Lowe and James Shapiro of the University of Alberta Hospital in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, in their commentary that follows the paper, provide a radiologist's and surgeon's perspective on this topic and the review paper. The paper and the associated commentary can be found at the following link.